In this topic, we look at basic structural concepts and how they relate to commercial buildings. Our focus will be on reinforced concrete and structural steel. Structural members. Structural members include foundations, columns, beams, shear walls, floor slabs and trusses. We categorise these elements into substructure, superstructure and lateral support structure. Loads. The typical environmental loads imposed on a building include gravity, snow, wind and earthquake. The building also supports live loads from the occupants and activities going on inside. Our building structures must be designed to withstand all of these expected loads and this design is done by a structural engineer. Structural concepts. Let's look at some structural concepts. The action of compression is to squash or compress something. If a load is applied to the top of another member, that member is being compressed by the weight of the structure on top. Commercial buildings have lots of compression going on because of the heavy structure used. An upper story floor slab is supported by a beam which is supported by a column which in turn is supported by the foundation with the foundation being supported by the ground. If you multiply this example by the many levels of a multi-story building you can see we have lots of compression action from the vertical loads of all the structural members. Tension loads are the opposite to compression. Concrete is very strong when put under compression loads, however, it is not so strong under tension. Conversely, steel is strong in tension. If we combine concrete and steel together in a structural member, we create a member that is strong in compression and tension. Stiffness and strength. A dry twig will snap under the load well before a green springy one of the same size, so stiffness is not the same as strength. Similarly, the green springy twig may deflect excessively under load but still be strong enough. You may have stood on a timber floor structure that felt springy. It was probably strong enough but not stiff enough. Shear and bending. When we talk about design actions, the two most common are shear and bending. Consider this simple diagram of a simply supported beam with a load applied. In terms of bending, the beam could snap under excessive deflection, like this. If the load is excessive, shear forces can cause a cut or a shear through, usually occurring near the support. The structural engineer has to design this beam so that it will not shear through or snap under loading. There are more structural concepts to discuss and we'll be talking about these in the lecture session. Thanks for watching this brief overview and as usual we'll cover this topic in more detail during the class sessions.